you for watching this video. I'm happy you're just playing. <laughs> what up y'all, welcome back. Today we're talking about my top five tips for being more confident on camera and in person. Let's get into it. If you're like me, it doesn't come natural. It comes actually quite awkward to talk to a camera. Whether you're starting a YouTube channel or any other type video content, you know, it's kind of awkward just sitting here talking to a camera by yourself. And so how do you get the confidence to do that? Number one tip is to prepare. If you have eight hours to chop down a tree, I'm gonna spend the first six hours sharpening my knife. Now that's a saying that I absolutely love and if you think about it deeply, it's just basically like honing your skills and preparing for what it is you're about to do. Whether you're an athlete or a coach or a student going for a test, you're not just gonna go and sit down at the test and take it and see what happens. You're gonna prepare and study as much as you can. And for being confident on camera, I think this is a huge attribute to do. When I'm preparing for this or any type film I'm shooting, I'm going to prepare for about two or three hours, do all my research, know exactly what my talking points are going to be, know exactly the message I'm trying to convey, and know exactly what direction I want to go throughout the video. And that kind of takes a huge layer off the top when you're sitting down and filming. You want to be able to just film comfortably and know exactly what it is you're trying to say to your audience. Also, if you're doing some type of tech or review video, do all your research. Be really knowledgeable about the product, have a lot of experience with it, really be an expert on what it is you're saying. Don't just go in blindly and try to ad lib to say what it is that you think the audience wants to hear or what it is other people are saying on YouTube. This also rings true for you know an interview or meeting someone or meeting a girlfriend's parents or something like that. You know, To be confident, really prepare before you get there. Do your research, find out what that person is interested in. You could stalk anyone on the internet right now and you could hop on LinkedIn and find a lot of information on those that you're trying to interview with. So preparedness is my number one tip. Be prepared, know exactly what you're gonna say and do before you start. Tip number two is to look good and feel good. A lot of awkwardness comes from the thought of thinking about what it is you look like or sound like. When I think about what I look like on camera or I, I see myself back, I absolutely hate it. I hate my voice, I hate so many things about myself. So. Number one tip, no, number two tip is to look as good as you can, feel as good as you can before you sit down and start to film. I also do not like having the screen flipped out or flipped up when I'm filming. I like to get that screen out to compose my shot, to make sure my lighting is right, I check my audio, I do all those things. But once I start filming, I like to close all the screens so I'm looking directly at the lens only. If I start to peek over and look at myself, I start to get more awkward, I start to think a little bit about what I look like or what, what faces I'm making, if I look like a troll or a gremlin, those things all throw me off and throw your confidence off. So to put out your best self, look good, feel good, and then don't look at yourself. Just deliver your content, deliver it is your, what your message is, tell your story and move on. If I'm bringing you some value, hit me with a thumbs up and a subscribe. Let's move on to the next. Tip number three for me is a little bit goofy, but listen to me here. I think that naming your camera, putting an image of a person to your camera as if it's your friend is a huge advantage. And let me tell you why. Most people sit down and start talking to the camera as if they're talking to no one. So they're going to deliver their speech and deliver their message in a very mon in a very monotone voice. You would never talk to anyone like that. So what I want you to do is name your camera Picture it as a person, treat it as a relationship. Love your camera, be friends with your camera. But mostly, when you start to talk about your dialogue and you're delivering your message, I want you to treat it as if it's your friend. Think of a friend that you love to talk to, that you tell everything to, that you would love to call on the phone and just talk about. Getting that mindset and wrapping your head around this relationship that you have with your camera is gonna give you an advantage in that you're gonna start talking more relaxed and more comfortably to this person to this camera instead of just delivering a monotone speech. And that's gonna give you a lot more confidence on camera and help you look and sound a lot more natural in my opinion. Tip number four is to overshoot, edit, and practice. Let me tell you what I mean by that. Overshoot. This is just a camera. There is nothing to it. You could shoot as much as you want. You could have unlimited takes. There's nothing holding you back from making mistakes, editing it out, watching it back, hating it, and then shooting it all over again. There's nothing wrong with that. It's practice, it's repetition, it's getting in the habit of overshooting. I'll mess up a lot. You know, I'll mispronounce a word. I'll stop, I'll go back five seconds, and I'll say the exact same thing over again. I'll go back five seconds, and I'll say the exact same thing over again. 
And that peace of mind, knowing that you don't need to deliver a perfect speech, you don't need to deliver a perfect message all the time. A lot of things I like to do is I like to speak in full sentences. So I don't like jump cutting in between sentences. So my main goal is getting out one full message, one full paragraph, one full sentence in a nice clean cut and then move on to the next point. So that is tip number four, practice, rehearse, reshoot edit out the mistakes. Let's move. Tip number five is to educate yourself. I trust you're willing to do this because you're already watching this video, but like with any skill, like a sport, if I started playing basketball tomorrow, I would suck. I would not be good. And the same exact thing would ring true for anyone on camera. Majority of people, when they start shooting on camera or going to an interview or speaking to someone new, they're going to suck. They're going to not know how to converse or how to communicate or how to come off confidently on camera. So what I encourage you to do is to educate yourself on how to speak eloquently and fluidly and confidently in a plethora of different situations. Meaning, take a class on public speaking. I took public speaking in college. I was terrible. It's so hard to learn how to public speak and you won't learn unless you actually do it, put in the work, get the experience, put in the effort, fail, and try again. Take a course on improv, take a comedy course, take a stand-up comedy course, take a comedy writing course. These are all things that are gonna give you confidence and be able to help you communicate better. Take a communication course online. There's so many different courses online that you can learn that can help you deliver yourself in a more confident way. Those skills are gonna help you be more confident. The better you are at communicating with so many different types of people in so many different types of situations, the more confident you're gonna be delivering that message on camera. That's tip number five. Now it's a common tip, but I encourage you, the goal and the tip is really not to learn. The goal and the tip is to gain experience and to fail. Fail on camera, fail in a public speaking course, fail speaking uh, in a stand-up comedy situation. Those failures are gonna shed the confidence levels. Of, no, those those failures are gonna shed the self-awareness that what's gonna happen if, I, if I'm nervous and I look bad and I say the wrong thing, all that's gonna be shed. And once you shed that, once you stop caring about what other people think and realizing that failing is okay, saying the wrong thing is okay, messing up is okay, that's when your confidence hits a new level. That's the overarching theme of this video is that to gain confidence, you have to fail, be okay with failing and not care what other people think. Once you get to that point, you'll be able to be more confident on camera, be more confident meeting people, be more confident in interviews and relationships. And that's when you get to the next level. So I hope I brought you some value. If I did, hit me with a like, a thumbs up and subscribe for more awesome videos like this. I appreciate you guys. I'll see you in the next one. Peace. A little bonus tip is I actually practice what I'm gonna say and will shoot a whole video before I shoot it sometimes without even hitting record. I'll just sit down and start delivering my points, delivering my message, go through my video, and then I'll feel confident and be like, hmm, that sounded dumb, I should change this, I should change that. I don't really sit down and type up a script, but some people do. But I like to run through it and rehearse it once or twice before I sit down and turn on the camera. And that helps me a lot, so that may be something you should try.